Falcon, Falcon, this is Wallo, in Canal 1, 3. This sailor is struggling to reach the military plane charged with spotting migrant boats from the skies. Falcon, Falcon, this is Wallo, in Canal 1, 3. How do you... His patrol ship, the Wallo, is cruising 300 kilometres off the coast of Senegal in a bid to tackle irregular migration. The air support is aimed at reinforcing operational capacity. The Wallo has spent more than 50 days at sea over the past two months, more than ever before. Weather conditions at the moment make it very difficult to get to the Canary Islands. But attempting to do so in a small wooden boat with more than 100 people on board is even harder. So our role is to intercept and save them and raise awareness about the dangers of the sea. Many hours into their patrol, they finally spot a boat. Where is Whiskey One? He's got a visual. He's going to get him. 159 people were intercepted close to midnight. Among them were families and children, all exhausted after spending three nights navigating the choppy waters. Jama, originally from the Gambia, paid 300 euros to make the crossing. We was, we was having a prayer to, to reach there. And you see now how it looks like. It's very, it's very bad. I'm Senegalese. We want to go to Spain to work. This is what we're doing. We're ready to risk everything, even our lives. And that is not just me, it is everyone here. It is now back to square one for Adama, who has already tried to emigrate multiple times. We met up with him again at his home in the Dakar suburb of Gejawai. Aged 34, he works multiple jobs, but isn't able to make ends meet. Just days after being intercepted at sea, Adama is already thinking about his next attempt at reaching Europe. At the moment, I don't know when I will go. But I will continue working to have enough funds to try again. All the men leave, and he wants to as well because the situation at home is difficult. We hope that his journey will go well and that he will arrive safely. We don't tell our mother because we don't want her to worry. More than 30,000 migrants, mostly Senegalese, have arrived on Spain's Canary Islands since the start of the year. This is the greatest figure since the Great Migration Crisis of 2006. In Tiaroy, a coastal suburb of Dakar, residents no longer keep track of the departures. Mustafa is a community elder who attempted a sea crossing in 2006. The exodus from this neighbourhood, he says, is enormous. Here, there were two boys who went to Spain and arrived successfully. Also here, there were two brothers who managed to reach Spain. And here, three people left. Fishing, once a lifeline to this community, is no longer enough to pay the bills, leading many to sacrifice it all to attempt a dangerous crossing. They pawn their boats in order to finance their journey. This boat could be sold for more than 1,000 euros. You could sell a motor for about 2,500 euros. In fact, for the whole package, you could earn more than 6,000 euros. With fish stocks depleted, jobs in short supply and living costs on the up, many young Senegalese believe their future lies elsewhere. Researchers say that the causes of migration are varied and that migrants themselves come from a wide range of social backgrounds. It's an array of people. There are some who abandon their jobs, young people who worked as teachers or were involved in the university sphere. Unfortunately, in the eyes of young people looking to migrate through irregular means, there haven't been sufficient responses to their problems. In early November, President Macky Sall asked the government to take urgent action to stem the wave of irregular crossings. So far, little concrete action has been taken, leaving civil society organisations to plug the gap, like here in the northern city of Saint-Louis. An association called Jeunesse Espoir 
has provided training to more than 400 people over 10 years, one third of whom have since found employment. On this plot of land, a group of young people aged 16 to 35 are trained in fish farming and agricultural methods widely practiced in the region. Estelle is a student who, alongside her studies, follows classes here in entrepreneurship and horticulture. Even if we don't have a lot of money or land to cultivate, we can get diplomas if we're trained here. We can go into business or apply for work in agricultural centers. 75% of the Senegalese population is under 35. The issue of irregular migration will be one of the major challenges facing the new president after the 2024 election.